Welcome to today's BYU software training presentation on electronic thesis and dissertation. Today we're going to cover how to convert our Word document to a PDF using the alternate method. We will also correctly export our bookmarks and embedded fonts. In addition to Word, we will be using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC to help us accomplish this. If you have not tried viewing our mainstream video, please try the method prescribed there before trying this one. Previous to this, we have created headings and subheadings, inserted page numbers into our document, and insert, inserted an automatically generated table of contents and table of figures. For more information on how to do this, please consult our videos on headings and page numbering, and also generating an automatic table of contents. To make our document a PDF using the alternate method, we first go to File, then Save As. From here, we select the destination where we'd like to put our folder. From here, from the Save As type, we go ahead and select PDF. From there, we click on Options, and from here, we can decide further how our document will be saved. We ensure that this box, Create Heading, Create Bookmarks Using Headings, is selected, then select OK. From there, we click Save. We can see here that Adobe Acrobat Pro DC has converted our document into a PDF. Another option that we could pursue would be to save our file as an Adobe PDF. From here, we would again have our, our PDF selected, click on Options. From here, we ensure that Convert Word Headings to Bookmarks is selected. Also, make sure that Convert Word Styles to Bookmarks is not selected. Our bookmarks will not properly be created if this is selected. Since I already created our PDF, I'm not going to save our PDF through this method. Now, looking at our PDF, we can see our bookmarks are created after we open our Bookmarks panel. We do this by going to View, Show and Hide, Navigation Panes, and then Bookmarks. We can now see that our headings have correctly translated over into bookmarks and also our subheadings have as well. To ensure our document opens to the correct view, right click then select Document Properties. Under Initial View, we want to have Bookmarks Panel and Page selected. So that our PDF will open with our bookmarks visible, then select OK. Since we saved our document through the Save As method, our fonts need to be embedded through Acrobat. To do this, we select the Tools tab on the ribbon, then we select Print Production. From here, we go ahead and select Pre-Flight. Once this opens, we go ahead and go to PDF Fixups, and select Embed Missing Fonts, then Analyze and Fix. Acrobat will ask us if we want to save it again, and we do. And here we can see the Acrobat is checking to make sure that all our fonts have embedded correctly. We can see here that three missing fonts are now embedded into our PDF. To, to check and make sure that this has been done correctly, we right click, select Document Properties, then under Fonts, we ensure that each one says Embedded Subset. Since each of them do, we know that our fonts have been embedded correctly. We can now exit out of this dialog box. Finally, go to File, and then we go ahead and click as Save or Save As. And we save our document. Our PDF now has our fonts correctly embedded, our initial view set to open correctly, and our bookmarks correctly made. For extra information about making bookmark changes inside Acrobat, please see our other video entitled Electronic Thesis and Dissertation 2015 Converting Word to PDF Mainstream Method. Thanks for watching today's presentation on Electronic Thesis and Dissertation. Please consult the other videos and BYU's official guidelines for more information on how to correctly modify your document. Good luck with finishing and submitting your paper. For other online software training and to sign up for free BYU software training classes, please visit train.byu.edu.